I have a big head, but when we stand like this, I always think like my head is so no, it's not that so bad. big, and then you have like the pin head. Yeah, look, we're not made for shooting together. I should have found a taller yeah. girl. Hey. Hello everyone. In today's video, we're actually going to be reorganizing and decluttering our whole life. But we're going to start with the house to, you know, keep it manageable. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> and also we're already starting to plan the renovations this year. We'll talk more about that in next week's video. But even to just start planning, we need as little clutter in the way as possible. And right now there's just a lot of things that are not really useful to our everyday living mm -hmm. that were maybe in the house already or that we've brought for future instances that we need to put away or get rid of, sell, find new homes for. Yeah, if we can. The first thing is the Christmas decor because it's way overdue and needs to get out of the house. Thankfully, it's all branches from our land, so it just will go into our compost bin, which is great. Hola, guapi. I think the Christmas decor has actually held up quite well considering it's been up for a month and a half. There's two different types of greens here. The one with the berries, that didn't hold up well. It doesn't look good. But this one is, is pretty nice. It's crunchy, but it's still, still looking decent. So I've taken all the small bubbles off. I'm taking out the lights now. And then I am gonna take it down, but I realized having this here that I really like having a nature element in the house to decorate. So I will probably put a more timeless branch hanging and then put the lights around that because it makes it cozy when we can turn them on at night. <laughs> Just add some sparkle. And then I think we'll take care of the guest bedroom. We originally organized it as in we put our linens in there and also our summer clothes and our working clothes and they don't fit. It's too much in one very small closet so we're gonna have to move things downstairs to the closet downstairs. In the main living area, we don't have that much extra that we don't use because obviously we don't have a lot of things <laughs> no. yet. We have had a couple of weeks of winter where we're just living inside the house and it has gotten, exploded a bit. It has gotten yeah, out of hand a little bit. We need to mm -hmm. clean it up. So we're just gonna have to have a look around and then we're gonna already take photos and put posts of things that we want to get rid of because sometimes finding new homes for your things that you don't want is the most responsible thing Thing always but it sometimes takes a lot of time for the right people to find them so I think if we start putting the ads up now that will be a good thing to yeah. get ahead on We spent the morning organizing and clearing out the top floor of the cabin and now it's looking quite good. And now that it's going into evening time, I'm going to dedicate some time to clearing out my computer and my laptop. No, my laptop and my phone. <laughs> I think there's lots of videos online of decluttering your space, organizing your space, cleaning it, how that is good for your mental clarity as well and for feeling better. But we spend so much time in our digital world and I think it's very easy to not dedicate a lot of time to making sure that it's organized, that you don't have unnecessary clutter, files, photos, messages, accounts you follow. There's a big spectrum of digital mess that can actually really affect how 
you feel on a daily basis. And that's why I want to highlight that in this video. Once in a while, I want to dedicate some time to doing a digital declutter. In my computer, I want to go through my desktop, my files, my emails, and my bookmarks. Desktop, I've already worked on this past days. I just had the generic screensaver that comes with my computer and I had a ton of files on my desktop. It was very messy every time I opened my laptop. And the other day I just spent, I think, max 15, 20 minutes. And now it looks very clean, very beautiful and inspiring. And I like it so much more. I wish I would have done that earlier. So I'm really glad I got that done. Yesterday I spent some time doing all the files. I went through everything, all my photos, my Word documents, my past work, everything, and deleted things that are unnecessary. And it's much cleaner now. And this then allows me to back up my computer, knowing that I don't have any unnecessary clutter that I will be backing up as well. I've also dedicated time to doing the bookmarks. I am terrible with this. I save so many things to read later, to get inspired at a different time, to remember or to watch it at another time. I also save presents for people that I come across and I think are interesting. I have a whole bookmark stub for that. I have hundreds if not thousands of bookmarks and some of them I really want to keep but I know that many of them are years old at this stage and irrelevant. So I've spent a lot of time here and there in little moments throughout this past week trying to organize them and trying to delete any bookmarks I saw were no longer relevant. But the main issue now with my computer which is also on my phone to be honest, is my email. My inbox has gotten out of hand. I used to always have it at zero, you know, make sure that I read everything, that everything was categorized and organized until I think 2020, I started a very, very demanding job where I had a lot of work and I spent all my time dealing with my work email and therefore I started ignoring my personal one and then it snowballed from there. And right now I think I have 224 unread emails in one of my inboxes. In my old email that I have from when I was a teenager, like the first email I ever opened, I have 230. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> almost 500 emails that I have to go through and delete, which I'm really not looking forward to. But I know it will make me feel much better once I've done that work. So that's what I'm going to spend time now. Okay, I've been working on it for a couple of days now, whenever I had a little moment here and there. In both my inboxes, I've managed to delete a ton of unnecessary emails. I've also unsubscribed from all these subscription lists that you don't even realize you're a part of and that are cluttering your inbox. In one of my inboxes, the not main one, I have zero unread emails. I have gone through absolutely everything and I've only left, I think, a handful, like maybe 30 max emails that I'm just keeping for information's sake that I might need in the future. And in my main inbox, I've gone from having a thousand something emails in total to only having 300 and zero unread as well. And now it's much easier for me to keep it instead of it kind of snowballing into having more and more unread emails. In my phone, I have five categories that I want to go through. One is apps, because I think it's very easy to, you know, install an app, then never use it and forget about it. Then photos, so that I can back up my phone and make sure that I don't have duplicated things or things that I just don't want to keep. My notes app, that one's gonna be interesting because I use my notes app a lot and I don't clear it out. Then texts and social media. So the apps I've already done and I've reorganized my phone. I've also put the same screensaver of my laptop on my phone. I love it, it looks really pretty. And the apps now are organized in a really logical way. I've deleted the ones I wasn't using and I'm happy with how it looks overall. It's gonna take me a while to adapt to the new positioning of the apps, but it's just a couple of days. Photos, I will do in another moment. Notes, I will do in another moment. Text, I have already done, thankfully, so I'm good with that. Because we live far away from everyone we love, our main mode of communications is through voice notes or little messages here and there. And if you start delaying your responses, it can get pretty overwhelming to suddenly realize you have to send a message or respond to 20 plus people. So 
so once in a while I go through my WhatsApp and I make a list and I sit down and I just tick off messages and <laughs> get it done. I want to be better, but I think I don't do too bad. And then social media, I think is an element of decluttering that is very important for most people. I think in general, we unconsciously follow or see a lot of things that are not really good for us. And this can really affect our mental health. The past year, I haven't really paid much attention to my social media. I don't go in very often. I don't keep track of people's things. So it hasn't been affecting me negatively. But the reason I haven't paid attention to my social media is because I felt like it was causing me a lot of anxiety. So once in a while, I do try to be very conscious of what I'm consuming through social media and to really try to get rid of those things that I don't benefit from. Before it was easier because in your feed you would get the posts of whoever you followed so you just had to go through the accounts that you followed and make sure to unfollow whoever was not contributing positively to your experience and I think that's still a very relevant exercise to do once in a while. Really consider who you're following and why and if they're not bringing anything good to your life just unfollow them. It's nothing personal. It's about your experience at the end of the day. But now because of the algorithms and you having a lot of things fed to you that you don't necessarily choose, I think there is a bigger exercise there of making sure that you don't spend time watching things that ultimately you know are not good for you, but that might steal your attention very easily. For example, with the news, I am very conscious of what articles I click on to read because it's very easy to fall for the big catchy titles. But I see anytime I dedicate to a news article as a way of me telling the journalists or the news agency that that's the type of news I want covered. So if I'm clicking the, you know, incendiary clickbaity title about Trump doing something silly, we are giving more attention to a person like him. Whereas if I go into the environmental news or the animal welfare news, we are showing that that is interesting and relevant for us. And on my social media, I also try to be very conscious of not just watching whatever reel or TikTok or whatever comes up in my feed that catches my attention, but maybe it's not ultimately something that is going to benefit me. If it's something I really don't want to see, I immediately press the, I think it's the three dots to say that you don't want that type of content so that then the algorithm learns what is best for you. And then you only use social media for the reasons you actually want to use it, which is normally escapism, entertainment, maybe learning. It depends on your personal needs. That was a very long speech, but I do think it's very important to dedicate time to consciously clearing out the content you consume so that the time you're spending on it, which is usually a lot, is dedicated to something that is making you happier at the end of the day. I'm really dreading downstairs. Why? Because oh, it's full of crap. We haven't cleaned it first. No. no. <laughs> so it's super dusty. There's a lot of things that when we moved in, we just moved downstairs and thought we would deal with in a different moment. And now is that moment. Now is that moment because yeah. I slowly start to create only a pathway to, to get to the things I need to go and we need to just get rid of stuff. It's full of stuff. Everything that was here that we didn't want at all when we moved in, we just moved downstairs. So there's a lot of pain things and little knickknacks that we're decorating the place and stuff that we have to take photos and find new homes for but also there's all our bulk items it's, it's just a bit of a mess yeah so we need to declutter in a sense like separate everything that we want to get rid of to mm. have it organized so that if it does find a new home we have a system but then we also have to organize all our things yeah. and we have to clean deep clean and we have to move the wood around a little bit as oh, well. Oh, yes. But that I'll leave up to me. You don't have to bother. We've been storing our wood pretty much everywhere downstairs. There's a spot here. There's a spot on the other side of this camera. And there's a spot outside. As you can see, we have been using up quite a lot of the wood that we had. When we started off in mid-November, like the wood was stored all the way to the top. And now we have been using half of the ash tree uh, already and also half of the roble, um, the oak tree that we have bought. So it's going quite quick and we're only mid-January. So we have another two months to go before it starts warming up outside and we don't need the heater anymore. So hopefully this should be enough. Luckily outside there's another batch of wood, which I'm gonna try to bring inside just to make it a bit easier to pick the wood up in the morning and like bring it upstairs. And I'm 
I'm also going to reorganize the wood on the other side, the wood that we bought, the oak wood. It's difficult to reach now, so let's go to it. That was it already. Now we have moved the wood to the other place and it's a bit more stacked up. There's much more space here, which allows me to stack the oak wood up a little bit better. So then I can move this like bag of wood here in the corner. And that means we'll have more space tomorrow to clean everything up in this ground floor area. So I'm gonna do this quickly, then we'll call it the day. See you tomorrow. Where do we start? <laughs> I don't know. I think we need to divide what is ours and what are things that are here from that we want to get rid of. Yeah. Um, so piles. Okay. Shall no. we start with the cardboard maybe? All the cardboard that we're just going to get rid of anyway? Yeah, the recycling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so let's put everything that's going to go out in the entrance. Okay. 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 Let's do this. We have a bit of a box hoarding problem. And it's because everything has a use so we don't want to throw something away that might come useful in the future we feel like that's wasteful and we have the space so therefore we're storing it but perhaps we're storing a bit too much yeah also Ali is a bit of a box hoarder but I do end up using a lot of it <laughs> yeah but... in the Netherlands we collected for a while and then when we had to sell all our clothes we use those boxes constantly. We have multiple lights like this one around the house and they're not to our style. So I'm going to take a photo of one of them and then put the ad up for all of them. Pains me, but like going to anyone saying, "Do you want this?" Yes. feels more like crappy a, shoes. <laughs> feels more like an insult than anything. But like, I really think they should go in the bin. We have two of these lights. This one's I'll put up for sale. This, do you know what this is? Oh? No, I've no idea. I really have no idea. It's like this thing that I keep on moving around in case I am like, "Ooh, Eureka!" This clock I can probably find a new home for. This is not our style, but it's probably someone's style. You can put it in here. Oh no, a box of cables. Oh uh, no. All these things that were left behind. There's nothing to do with them. This we keep in case. Is it what? I don't know, in case there's an infestation. I'm not very keen on killing beings, but in case. Okay, this is the type of thing that we put in the box to see yeah. if anyone will pick up. It would be really great if there was a, a place that we donate to, but there's not. This one I thought of keeping because the yeah, thing is pretty. Right. Okay. This is not, but... No, 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 that throw away, babe. Don't be disgusting. Someone will be super happy with this. Yeah, the problem is how will that someone come across it? So we need to make space to bring down the mattress, the bed and the guest bedroom. Yeah, at the because, certain point. Yeah, uh, yeah because we want to start work there soonish. I'll take the covers up, no? This. Will you take them off the wall? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, easy. Easy? Easy. <laughs> Almost fell on me. Lunch break.
la que pasó. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Hola, mi amor. organized there's the pantry those are all things we need to get rid of except the wooden box which holds our potatoes and will be a spare very composter in the future more things we need to get rid of the beds and now we have a lot of floor space it's all organized and we cleaned the floor as much as we could without a vacuum cleaner can't wait to have a vacuum cleaner and now we have a ton of floor space to bring more things down from upstairs if we need to when we start the renovations. Last night the wind was so strong. And I just came out this morning and the wind tore off the roof of the sauna. We were already planning on like redoing that whole roof, but it will have to be done much earlier than we hoped. I think we're just gonna put a tarp on now because I don't want to immediately start redoing the whole thing since we don't have time for that now. And then in a couple of weeks we have to tackle it. The wind is super strong here. Luckily, the rest of the property was unharmed. The wind is being crazy yesterday and today. Last night the whole house shook. And I think tonight's gonna get really bad as well because it's picking up again a lot. Isn't our beautiful door protection stunning? <laughs> this is to try and prevent all the really loud wind noise inside. It helps quite a lot. It doesn't improve it fully, but it's much better than without it. Oh my god, it's so, so windy. Oh, Ooh, I feel like I'm being blown away. If I stand against the wind, you see it. <laughs> It's really nuts. I'm trying to breathe through it and not let it stress me out <laughs> because this weather stresses us out a lot. But we're very lucky that it hasn't caused major damage. The sauna roof had to be replaced anyway, so now we just put a temporary solution and we'll fix it in the future. This is temporary, only temporary. We're not like this, I promise. Look at you being a DIYer. I like nailing stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> not other things, but nailing is, is fun. Okay. <laughs> this is because you're an aggressive person, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> I'm a weak aggressive person, I can only handle a small tool. Okay, where, do I keep it where the wood is now? Oh, it's gonna blow up, wait. No, stay, stay. Ha, 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 ha. 
Good job. I feel like I'm going crazy. With the wind, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you want to build a windmill park? You should do it here. <laughs> Don't do it here. Don't do it here. You should. They already tried. They already tried, actually. The neighborhood yeah, stopped it. Don't do it here. Don't do it here. <laughs> but it would be very, very efficient. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can finally go in. The sky is beautiful now, huh?